hey you guys so today i wanted to do a video of showing you all a couple of items that i got from amazon because as a content creator i am always looking for ways to boost my content make it look better make my life easier and we all know the basics right like you need a camera you need lights so you know the basics of it but it's other things that go into it that can make your life so much easier you guys and even though i am a small content creator at the moment i'm still constantly trying to better my content because you know what i'm saying when, when y'all watching my videos i want y'all to be like oh her camera look nice or oh her lighting look nice or oh certain things look nice and first disclaimer i want to say that it's not going to always be perfect so if you're looking at this video and right now you may not have the funds to buy these items don't feel pressure y'all because one thing that i always kind of struggle with from the beginning of this youtube channel that i created is that i all i would look at jackie Ina or Aaliyah's face or Arnell, Alyssa, you know, these are just to name a few people that I like their quality and I would be like, oh, I want that. Then I go look at the price and I'm like, oh, them lights is $300. So, you know, it can get a little overwhelming, especially when you are up and coming. You don't want to go out there and buy the best of the best. Not saying there's anything wrong with them buying those items because guess what? If you got it, why not? But everybody ain't gonna like that. Okay, so <laughs> I just want to show you all a few items that I got from Amazon that have made my life just that much easier. So let's go ahead and get into it. So you guys, first things first. Now, if you notice that the quality of the video may have changed or not even the quality because both of these cameras I'm filming off of are great cameras. It's just that there are two different cameras so it might not look the same. I'm on a different camera because I had to show you all on this camera. You know what I'm saying? You get it, you get the vision. But the first thing that I wanted to talk to you all about is my tripod. So this tripod, I have actually went through several tripods, you guys. I have, but prior to me buying this one, I had three different tripods. And the reason being is because the first one I started out with was like a real cheap one from Target. I think it was like $15. Then I went to Best Buy and I got one and it was like, I want to say $25 to $30. And then this one right here. So this is a heavy duty tripod, you guys. It is not the most expensive one on the market however it's not the most affordable one either i will say this is the newer 79 inch aluminum tripod and what made me get this one is because i saw that Aaliyah's face actually promoted it on her instagram if you don't know who that is she is a youtuber influencer that i really really like so what made me get it is that this tripod is just for one it goes really tall, which I will show you all like a B-roll of it while I'm talking. So you probably don't see my face right now because I'm showing you all a B-roll. But this tripod gets really tall, you guys. And another thing that I like about it is that you can film so many different things on this tripod. As far as like if you're filming something involving cooking you can make it look directly down on the food so it just gives a better experience to the viewer a better you know angle it really makes it easy to get better content um this tripod i paid 99 dollars for it because i actually got it i'm not sure if you're familiar but amazon sometimes they do like flash deals so i paid 99 dollars for it but it's right now it's priced at 137 dollars and 79 cents Y'all, I know that's expensive. I know that is expensive, but it is important to get a quality tripod because if you have a heavy camera, like the one that I'm filming on right now is the Sony 7 three something like that so it was like i want to say i paid like over twelve hundred dollars for this camera so it's important for me to put this camera on a heavy duty tripod because the last thing that i want to happen is that it falls over easily the wind blow and the whole camera to fail you know those things are important so even though it may seem like it's expensive to pay for a tripod that price just think about it like if you have a camera up there you don't want your camera to break 
okay so this is a great investment the other tripods that i bought that i was recently um previously telling you all about they were cheaper ones so they're not as heavy duty and i noticed that little things would happen with them that would make it you know it would show their quality like the legs were very flimsy they would bend and those are things that i did not want because y'all if i drop my camera i promise you i will be heartbroken so this camera gets really tall you can get 360 angle i just love how you can get different camera angles with it that is what sold me with it because when i'm doing my vlogs i like sometimes to show what i'm cooking so i want the camera to be directly looking down on the food instead of it being just like kind of slightly bent down or you know it's, it just gives a different experience so that's one thing that i learned with creating content even though something may not seem like that you have to pay that amount of money for or oh i could just do this or i could just do that it's like yeah but some you know sometimes y'all it's just better to just put a little bit of money out there you know huh that is what i love about this tripod right here and everything will be linked down below you guys so you can um go on amazon they actually have like videos that you can watch that show everything that the tripod does i'm pretty sure i have barely scratched the surface of everything that the tripod does but it's just you know as as i advance as a content creator i'm pretty sure different things about this tripod will come in handy so that is the first item let's go ahead and get into the others which is actually on top of the tripod i know it's a lot of cords y'all but when you are the like y'all see the the good stuff you know what i'm saying y'all see the aesthetics that's what y'all see but behind it what we're looking at it's not always pretty because it's a lot of wires tripod cameras microphone it's just a lot going on so you know it does look like a lot but i'm gonna just break down exactly everything that i have here because i feel like that these items are really important and will make it so much easier when you're shooting videos or whatever your content creation is it just makes it better this item is actually priced $15.99 and the reason why I bought this item is because when you're filming a lot of things have to go it's different things that you need so prior to this monitor right here that I'm gonna get into also prior to this monitor I actually had a HDMI cord coming from my camera to a 21 inch display that i had to carry like upstairs downstairs wherever i was filming at some people i know you might see some youtubers to where they actually have it to um they have they can view themselves on their laptop but i got this because i wanted my camera to be able to have everything at the top for a convenience so i have my monitor right here Usually right here, I will have my um, mic, which the mic just slides right into this slot. And whatever else you might need this slot for, it's just there. You know what I'm saying? So it just makes it easier so that you just don't have to have one thing at the top of your camera. Because usually all cameras at the top of it, it has like a, I'll show you all on a B-roll, but it has like a little slot where you could just slide the cold shoe on and then you can attach different items on top of the camera so it really was made for convenience but when i saw this i was like oh yes i have to have this because it just holds everything it holds everything so i don't have to keep going up and down the steps carrying this item that item having this item over here that item over there it just makes it easier so this item it was only 15.99 you guys and this little bit itty bitty piece it definitely comes in handy now you guys the third item that I'm gonna show you all is the monitor on top of the camera so this is the newer 7 inch camera field monitor I pay hundred and ten dollars and ninety nine cent for this item now the reason why I got this is because like I was previously explaining whenever I was filming something I would be carrying a 21 inch monitor and just carrying it wherever I was filming at, whether that's downstairs, upstairs in my room or in the bathroom. And being that it's big, it was just an inconvenience and in taking up space. Um, 
it is important to view yourself when you are filming because you want to make sure you're in focus you want to make sure you look good you just want to make sure everything is right okay you want to make sure because it's important now if you're just filming it has happened to me before where I didn't have a monitor and I was filming and then I will go back and edit the footage and everything is out of focus which that means that I just wasted all of my time and energy filming something when I could have just had a monitor that showed me exactly if I was in focus, if everything looked good. So I just have, it actually came with a cord, which it, this HDMI cord right here, it plugs into the monitor and the other end plugs into my camera. So all I have to do is turn the monitor on. Now the only thing that I will say that I don't care for in the monitor is that, okay, so y'all see? Y'all see me? So let me show y'all what I'm talking about. You see me, right? You see how I look, right? You can see the color of my skin. You can see the highlight in my nose. But when you're looking on the camera or when you're looking on the monitor, it just don't look the same. So that's the only thing that I don't like about it. Um, so I would pretty much use this just to make sure that everything is in, well, what I would recommend is that first, make sure that you like how everything is on your actual camera display that comes with your camera, like the flip out screen. Make sure everything looks good there and then you can attach the monitor and you could just use the monitor. And when I say make sure everything looks good, I'm talking about like the color, you know, because sometimes things can be too bright, too dark, not vibrant enough. So you just wanna make sure that it looks good. Once everything is how you like for it to be, you could just go ahead and attach the monitor and you can use this to make sure that everything is in focus. Even though I don't like the picture of it and they do have it where you can change the brightness, but it still does not match how you all see me right here. So this is still good though, because you wanna make sure that you are in focus y'all. I cannot stress this enough. It is so important to make sure that you are in focus when filming because these cameras be tripping. It's like you be sitting here trying to in the middle you wanted to focus, like, right now it's really not focused on me, it's focused on this. So, it's important. It's, y'all, it's important. If you don't take nothing, it's important to be able to view yourself. And, you know, I know it's not a necessity because, like I said, you can hook it up to your laptop or something like that. But the reason why I went with this is because it was right on top of the camera. And if you notice also, I don't know if you ever watch any YouTubers to where you will be seeing them looking down like this or looking to the side. That used to be me. So it's like being that it's right in your face, you don't have to worry about that because you, you know, it's right there. You don't have to worry about looking over here, over there, whatever is right there. Also, you guys, I also want to mention is that I know somebody out there might be wondering, well, if you could just view yourself on this flip out screen, why do you need this? And that's because all cameras don't have a screen that flip out like that. For example, my Sony camera that I'm filming that you all see me on right now, that camera does not flip out at all, nor does it flip up. But when I'm filming, I can't see anything. So that's why, you know, this comes in handy. Okay, you guys, so this next item that I'm gonna go over with you all is actually the microphone. It's gonna be B-roll footage though because the microphone, I'm using it, so I don't wanna unplug it to show you all because then the quality of the video will change. This is the Rode Video Mic Go Lightweight on camera microphone. It's $75. Now, let me go over why it's important to invest in a quality microphone, you guys. Let me tell y'all. So when I first started out doing YouTube videos, and you all won't be able to go back and see because I privated those videos. But when I first started out, the I ordered a microphone and I believe it was like $30 and it came with like a whole kit, y'all. When I tell y'all it was the worst quality sound ever, it constantly sounded like, it, it was like a staticky sound. And I, every time I would go film, I had to go and like put something on top of every clip that would kind of take away that sound, not realizing that I'm thinking that maybe it's just, that's how it sound and everybody I be watching, they just fix it. But no, you need to invest in a quality microphone. I'm not saying that 
the sound on your actual camera is terrible. However, when you have a microphone, it just makes a difference. It picks up more crisp sound. It picks up sound better. And it just sounds better overall. And these little things matter because when you have people watching your videos, people pick up on those things, especially in a world of where we have so many great content creators that have a team behind them and everything like that. It's like you look at their content and you're like, man, like their quality is great. Their sound is great. Their videos are great. So it's like, I'm not saying that you should try to keep up with them because if you're a beginner in creating content, of course, I mean, unless you just got it like that, but you're not going to be able to have the best of the best. So I would recommend not going the cheap route on certain things. Things like I mentioned, like the tripod. And one thing that I definitely would, you know, recommend not going a cheap route is when it comes to your microphone. Because, you know, when you are creating content, sound and video and lighting, those are three things that are so important because people are seeing that. You know, just like even you're creating a podcast. I know you hear about people with podcasts. They, they go get good microphones. They don't just, some people do, but everybody don't just record off of their iPhone because they want quality content. I've been using it for years. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I ain't been doing content for that long, but it's been over a year that I had the microphone. It just plugs right into my camera and it's operated off of battery. So I don't have to worry about plugging it in, which I love that also. And I could just slide it right into one of the slots on the cold shoe mount all right you guys so the next item i want to show you all is actually a camera battery and sd card holder i paid 15.99 for this item and it just this is how it looks nothing special a black case with a yellow border around it and it clips shut and what i love about it is that it stores my extra batteries and has six slots for sd cards also, just in case you may not have this uh, the same type of camera I have, they actually have different case options depending on what type of camera battery you have. So the slots change based upon that um, because all camera batteries are not shaped the same. You want to make sure that you get a case that fits your battery so that the battery won't fall out. Now, the reason why I feel like that this is important is because when you are a content creator and you're recording videos, eventually you're going to look into getting spare batteries and you're going to have multiple SD cards. It's just, it's going to happen, you guys. At one point, I didn't have any spare batteries and I only had one SD card. But the more content you're creating, unless you're just creating literally once a month, I mean, I don't know, but... It, it just it's important to have multiple SD cards, especially when you're blogging, because one SD card can get filled up, then you, you're going to need another one. Prior to me having this case, I actually stored my SD cards and batteries in Ziploc bags, which is so embarrassing. So this <laughs> so this definitely it just comes in handy, you guys, because also I would end up losing SD cards and losing batteries and this just helps to keep everything in one place so I won't lose it just put everything in here snap it shut and then here it is everything all in one okay so on top of being a content creator another thing that is important is actually planning content so I got this YouTube planner um, this is a YouTube planner notebook that I actually got from Amazon and and you guys it was at this very moment when i turned my head that i realized that my microphone was on my other camera meaning it was not plugged into the camera i was currently recording on so if you noticed that the audio was a little bit different once i went back to a different angle that is why i did try to add some effects on top of the audio to not make it so echoey but it's just it's a coincidence that we were just talking about a microphone and the sound and things like that. So I'm going to do a voiceover on this part. I'm going to still, you know, have me moving on the screen and everything like that. Because child, I was just talking and talking and talking and y'all couldn't hear nothing. 
So the YouTube planner I actually got from Amazon and what made me get it is because prior to me getting this notebook, I actually was just writing down things in like a on a blank piece of paper of how I wanted to plan out my content. So this planner, it has video title at the top and then you can put like how long the video will be, the description that you want to put either in a description box or just a description of what you want your video to be about. It has check boxes of what you want to talk about and you could check it off as you create the video supplies that you need and on the left hand side it has a checklist of different things that you have already completed such as i filmed it i did the voiceover i edited it created the thumbnail description uploaded it effects music so everything like that so this just makes it easier for me to plan out my videos because personally for me i don't like to just go into a video and just have everything in my head because then i forget certain things to talk about so it's easier for me to write it down so i i bought this item from amazon and it was $5.99. I actually did also get an Instagram one, but it had like little tiny boxes of where you can write like your caption. And you know, nowadays we write long captions. So all I could do was like fit a word in there. So yeah, I really recommend this if you are a YouTuber because it is important to plan out your content and to actually know what you're going to talk about before you even talk about it so that you won't just get on camera and be so disorganized. So this next item is the LED on-camera video light, which was $49.99. I honestly do not feel like that I paid that much for it because I just don't feel like I did. But sometimes uh, Amazon will have like sales. And then when I try to go back and see how much I paid for it, it won't tell me. So anyway, the point of me getting this on camera video light is because all cameras don't come with a flash and this actually has the brackets at the bottom where you can slide it right onto the cold shoe which i showed earlier in the video so this light has different settings where you can do cool light warm light or you can mix both and you can also adjust the brightness of it the reason why I really got it is because I have the Canon M50 and I would notice that when I'm trying to vlog, it will be very grainy if I'm in a darker area and I just didn't like that. And you know, when you're vlogging, you're not always in the house or you could turn on a light or sometimes I don't want to turn on a light because I have babies and I don't want them to wake up or whatever the situation may be. So this just really came in handy, you guys. I also feel like it will come in handy if I'm trying to take a picture where it's dark and being that I'm a of a deep skin tone it you know i'm not bright so if i'm trying to take a picture and it's dark i'm gonna be dark also so this would just add brightness to my face or whatever i'm trying to brighten up at that time so i really felt like that i could get good use out of this and yeah if you if you run into the same issues i would definitely recommend it also you know you don't have to carry this uh, like you don't have to have lights that's like on a tripod you know this is very mobile so that that definitely comes in handy and it's convenient and here i am still just the talking but that's it you guys that's all the items that i have to show you trust i know that there are plenty other items that can definitely help my journey here on youtube and as a content creator i know i know there's more if you have any suggestions of more items you can list them in the comments below and i just wanted to show you all certain things that i have gotten recently that has definitely helped and that that is beginner friendly um, but you know as I said as my journey continues I know that I will get more items and I will eventually make a new video to show you all different items that I have gotten so thank you for watching this video you guys don't forget to subscribe and also come follow me on Instagram my Instagram is all things Yvette which is just like my YouTube channel and I appreciate you always and I'll see you all in my next video bye